weekend of truly appalling disaster began with the sinking of the ferryboat Princess Victoria off the Irish coast. Our story begins with the return of the Donahadee lifeboat from the scene of the tragedy at sea. Britain was shocked by this tragedy, then stunned by news of the ghastly loss of life. I'm Petty Officer Yeomans from Farnborough. I was travelling on the Princess Victoria to Ireland as a passenger. As I, I clung onto this raft, I was about two hours in the water and there was just myself and another person on the raft about 30 yards away. I was spotted by an aeroplane flying overhead, I waved for that, and after about two hours I was picked up out of the water by the Fort Patrick lifeboat. Soon after we left Lochrein, the heavy seas took us into stern and the car ferry doors, which smashed them in. She started to take water then and took a heavy list to the starboard side. Then the water started, kept on running into the car deck, which caused the list to have the abandoned ship. Next day, Donahadi Harbour was crowded with people, of course, and great interest was focused on the lifeboat, which did such splendid work thanks to her courageous crew, led by the coxswain, 63-year-old Hugh Nelson. This is how he summed up. When we got out there, the ship was gone. And the weather was very bad. Conditions were very bad. Visibility was bad. Sea was heavy. And with the assistance of the seamers too, they gave us all the assistance they could. Search and rescue continues without cease. But the tragedy of the disaster remains, the greatest of its kind that Britain has suffered. 